Before we get into a melody, I want to start off the video with a little bit of magic. So here is Harry Houdini, Tops Heritage, Chrome, Tops Chrome. And this one's serial number 413 out of 1776. This is 2009, Tops Heritage. Harry Houdini doesn't have many cards. He has uh, old cards and old stickers from a long, a long time ago. You don't really see them much on eBay. I tried bidding on one and I think it went up to 250 or 300. But Harry Houdini, this is pretty cool. I mean, the picture is trying to escape probably a tank or something, but Harry Houdini, escape artist, entertainer, pick this up and this is a non-sports pickup here is a SGC 8.5 the Joker from the Dark Knight when I saw this online the color well the color of the picture was fine but in person this is pretty dark can't really display it anywhere in the house because it's the because of the picture being so dark. These are stickers. These are from 2008. The Dark Knight, The Joker, number 76. This is a. I would say it's a rare set. Can't really find many of these online. If you find, this is the back of the card. If you find them, the Joker ones are pretty expensive, and to get them in great condition is difficult these chip easily through the borders there's a uh, white around the borders and this is an 8.5 so i picked this up for 40 bucks i think the seller had it listed for 80. i offer 40 he accepted so picked this up the only thing is that it is dark i wish it would be just a little bit on the brighter side but this is a dark sticker i mean it goes with his character this is a dark character dark sticker so it's pretty cool okay let's go to the packages I'm just gonna rip this up might have to fast forward and this there's nothing in there this is all the paper information this is the mask Technochrome cards. This is the complete set of Technochrome. Technochrome, I believe, would be like Topps Chrome or Panini Prism, but let's see. Pretty well packaged. The mask with Jim Carrey. I don't remember the top of my head what year the movie was produced, but 1994 by Cards with the Z. Uh, let's take a look at this. It's pretty cool. The shoddy and uh, yeah, kind of has like a chrome feeling to it. It is thicker car stock. This one's cool. This is a complete set. This was also pretty cool scene. The mask. If you haven't seen the mask, the movie, check it out. The mass returns. So it's pretty cool. I believe it's a, a set of eight. So this is two. Three right here. Four. Not just set of five. Pretty neat. The Mass Returns, it was a comic book series. I didn't know they had comics, but Jim Carrey, one of his, one of his greatest movies. Pretty funny, it's different. Has a little bit of action, that's cool. Okay, let's move on. The next thing I'm gonna want to show 
I picked up these 1990, I think it's 1993. Here we go. These are in the 1993 classic toys, trading cars. This, these are just trading cars of classic toys over the years. We have the first one, Battle of the Blue and Gray playset. Looks like some Civil War action there. The back of the card says 66 cards, 1993. It gives the current value of the toy from, uh, at, gives the current value at 1500. The worth of the toy, I would guess around 1993. And it tells you who the maker of the toy is and what year the toy released. That's pretty cool. Battle of the Blue and Gray playset. It also gives you the small descriptions of how the toy was popular and different sets. So that's pretty neat. This is the complete set. I believe it is the complete set. The Flintstones game. 95 bucks, current value. This is, these are good cards for collectors and toy fanatics. This is a Monkey Mobile. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct, but Corgi toys I'm familiar with. The monkeys, Monkey Mobile, Monkey Mobile, it's Monkey Mobile. Loose 50 bucks, mint in box 150, that's pretty cool. Corgi, monkeys. Monkey Mobile, Space 1999, Eagle Transporter, The Beatles, Paul Doll, 1993, let's see how much this was worth. This was worth mint in box, 150 bucks. This is from 1964. Let's continue, what else we have here? Six Finger, Six Finger Toy. Secret coat clicker, I guess like an inspector gadget type of toy, six finger. We have Planet of the Ape figures. Planet of the Apes. 55 bucks current value. Mousetrap game, classic game. Pretty sure many of you have played this classic game. This was worth 45 bucks. Next up, John F. Kennedy model kit. Let's see the maker, Aurora Plastics, 1965. This was worth 75 bucks at that time. Next up, the Thing coin bank. View master sets. Give a show projector. Some of these I know are serial numbers, but this is just the base set. Roy Rogers Rodeo Ranch, the Green Hornet game, G.I. Joe Action Soldier. Let's see how much this was worth. It's 150 bucks. 150 bucks. Star Trek action figures. This looks like by Mago. Yes, 35 bucks. I know they remade these. Action figures may go remade them. Major Matt Mason. Batman model kit. 200 bucks. Have a couple more. Beatles flip your wig game. Jackie Gleason story stage. And the Beatles Ringo doll. 250 bucks mint in box, loose 75 bucks. Okay, that was it. Classic toys, trading cards. We have more mail we need to open, but I think I'm gonna stop this video here. Might not want it to be a long video, so this is gonna be part one. And in the next video, we are going to finish the pickups.